Hey friends, welcome. Today we will be discussing one of the topics from statistical thermodynamics and uh, that is a Fermi Dirac statistics or it is also known as a Fermi Dirac distribution law. Now in Fermi Dirac distribution law again as we have discussed in Bose Einstein statistics that the particles in a Fermi Dirac statistics they are indistinguishable. Also there is a restriction on filling up of the particles uh, that is in every energy level there will be only single particle present and basically uh, the particles uh, having half integral spin uh, like we have electrons protons so we have protons we have electrons and uh, then helium 3 and uh, one more example that is nitrous oxide so these are few of the examples of the systems that have half integral spin and uh, these particles will obey the fermi dirac statistics and um, again as this statistics was given after the advancement of quantum statistics it is also known as quantum statistics also uh, when we are looking at the wave function then the wave function of the fermions they are anti-symmetric with respect to the exchange of the particles now over here uh, suppose if we are considering that we have ni number of particles and that ni number of particles are to be distributed amongst ei energy level having gi amount of state and the catch over here is that in each energy level there will be only single particle so suppose uh, i have particle a over here particle a over here particle a over here so i could distribute the particle in this particular manner only so also as the particles are indistinguishable if i change the position then as the particles are indistinguishable no new microstate will arise so the thermodynamic probability for such a arrangement it is given as it will be given by so when we look at or when we take the permutation of number of states then that permutation will give us the number of arrangement of the particle because in each state only one particle is possible and over here also number of states they are far more greater than number of particles so it will never happen that the states all the states are occupied and uh, the particles are left to arrange so always gi over here is far more greater than the number of particles and hence all the particles will be arranged so when we are doing gi factorial that will give us the permutation of all the available states now over here we have several empty states so when we are doing n gi minus ni gi minus ni then gi minus ni will give us the amount of empty state so over here suppose we have four states and we have three particles so four minus three is one so we have one empty state so when we are performing because in gi factorial we have permutation of all the states so for we need to subtract the permutation of empty states so when we are performing gi minus ni factorial then this will give us the permutation of the empty states which are possible also we uh, we know that the particles are indistinguishable and as a result this also consists of the exchange of particles among themselves so when we are performing an i factorial then this will remove the permutation or this will remove the exchange of particles within themselves so hence the thermodynamic probability is given by w is equal to gi factorial upon ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial and for different number of states we could substitute capital pi which is the multiplication factor all the steps are similar to the bose einstein statistics that we have already seen so first we will be taking logarithm on both hand sides so ln w will be equal to and as we know that pi could be converted into summation and we will have ln gi minus ln of ni and division is minus so ln of gi minus ni factorial now we will be uh, these are factorial, sorry, 
Now we will be applying Stirling's approximation as all are very large number and we know that Stirling's approximation is given by ln of x factorial is x ln x minus x. So when we apply Stirling's approximation, we will have summation of gi ln gi minus gi minus ni ln ni this minus and this minus will become plus so we will have plus n minus gi minus ni and uh, into we will have ln gi minus ni and uh, this minus this minus will become plus and hence we will have plus gi minus ni okay now this ni minus and this plus ni will be cancelled out this plus gi and this minus gi will be cancelled out and hence we are left with ln of w is equal to summation gi ln gi minus ni ln ni minus gi minus ni into ln of gi minus ni okay now again we know that for maxima or in order to obtain the most probable distribution or when the system is under equilibrium we will have most probable distribution and for the most probable distribution the value of thermodynamic probability is unique and it is a singular value so when we perform differentiation then we will have d l n w will be equal to 0 and hence we will have summation of also so we will be differentiating this equation and g i are the number of states and they are constant so this term will become 0 minus again differentiation by parts so when we keep n i constant and differentiate it we will have 1 upon n i into d n i plus and this is minus sign so this also will become minus minus ln of ni into dni minus again both will be differentiated by using differentiation by parts so first gi minus ni and differentiation by parts that is 1 upon gi minus ni and again we have to differentiate this so this will be minus dni because this is minus so this minus this minus will become plus plus we will have ln gi minus ni and again we will be differentiating this so differentiation of gi will be 0 and this will be minus dni so this minus and this plus will become minus and this minus and this minus will become plus okay so over here both these terms will be cancelled out over here also both these terms will be cancelled out we have minus dni over here and we have plus dni over here so they will be cancelling out each other also uh, this will be plus because we have minus sign over here so first yeah so first we will get minus sign over here because we have minus and this minus and we have minus sign over so this minus and this minus will become plus okay so we will have summation of now this will be plus and this will be numerator and this will be denominator and we can take a uh, dni together so ln of we will have gi minus ni upon ni into dni and that is equal to 0 further uh, we could also write this as summation of ln gi upon ni minus 1 into dni and that is equal to 0 okay now this is our suppose say equation number 1 and this gives us the most probable distribution now this expression of most probable distribution we need to bind it between the number of particles and the total amount of energy so as we all know it that 
we have summation of d n i and that is equal to 0 also summation of e i into d n i and that is e also equal to 0 so this is the most probable distribution and this most probable distribution has to be bound between the number of pa particles and between the total energy of the system so again we will be doing Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier and we will be multiplying this equation with alpha we will be multiplying this equation with beta where alpha and beta are arbitrary constant so suppose this is our equation number 2 this is our equation number 3 and we will add equation number 2 and equation number 3 and we will subtract it with equation number 1 and as all the 3 are equal to 0 their operation will also be equal to 0 and as a result we will have summation of alpha dni plus summation of beta ei dni minus summation of ln gi upon ni minus 1 into dni and that is equal to 0 so now i could separate the summation one side and dni another side and as a result we will have alpha plus beta ei minus ln of gi upon ni minus 1 and into dni and that is equal to 0 now in order to make this whole expression 0 either dni should be 0 or all the terms in the bracket should be equal to 0 and we all know that dni is not equal to 0 that is individually dni cannot be equal to 0 so individually dni is not equal to 0 but summation of dni is equal to uh, 0 so over here this term that is alpha plus beta ei minus ln gi upon ni minus 1 and that is equal to 0 so dni over here it refers to dn1 dn2 dn3 and so on and this dn1 dn2 dn3 it refers to the change in the number of particles uh, that is over here in fermi Dirac we have only one particle so i can take that particle and keep in any in any another vacant particle so if i am sub, suppose if we say that uh, we have one particle in energy level e1 and energy level e2 and energy level e3 both are empty so i could take this particle and put it in energy level e3 so e1 will become zero so dn1 now the change is minus one dn2 it, there is no change and dn3 will be plus 1 so individually dn so i could uh, this also could not be uh, will if we change it is it will not be equal to 0 here i have not changed so it is equal to 0 so summation dni it is equal to 0 but individually when we see the change that change it is not equal to 0 so hence dni is not equal to 0 but the terms in the bracket are equal to 0 now we will be rearranging this expression and we will have ln of gi upon ni minus 1 is equal to alpha plus beta ei now in order to remove the log we will be taking anti log and we will have gi upon ni minus 1 is equal to e raised to alpha i could write plus beta ei or i could write in the form of multiplication also both are true this minus one will go on right hand side and we want the expression in terms of ni so i will reverse the expression and hence we will have ni upon gi is equal to one upon e raised to alpha plus beta ei plus 1 and this gi i will i could take on right hand side and as a result 
I will have Ni is equal to Gi upon E raised to alpha plus beta Ei plus 1 and this is our final expression which gives the distribution of fermions in different energy levels. So Ni are the particles, Gi is the degeneracy or amount of states available and Ei is the energy. So with the help of this expression we could easily obtain the distribution of fermions amongst different energy levels. Hope the explanation was clear. Thank you very much.